everyone, I'm Elwin, a partner engineer on the monetization team. As part of my role, I get to work with partners to build innovative solutions that transform the way businesses communicate. And this is exactly what API Solutions for WhatsApp Business App users does. It is a game changer for businesses looking to streamline their communication and boost productivity. What if I told you there's a way to supercharge your WhatsApp business app experience with the powers of APIs? Let's get started on this exciting journey and learn how this feature enables you to use both the WhatsApp business app and the WhatsApp business platform to chat with people at the same time. You may have heard in our conversations keynote earlier today that this is an exciting and powerful tool to help you connect with your customers at scale. We will talk more today about what this is why it is a great tool to expand your customer base and how to get started. So first, what exactly are API solutions for WhatsApp business app users? As I mentioned before, this feature enables you to use both business app and the business platform at the same time. And you do not have to change your phone number to do it either. This means you keep your phone number when you onboard to the API you can then use the WhatsApp business platform to manage one-to-one -one conversations while continuing to use the WhatsApp business app for group chats, calls, and status. Let's talk about why this is so exciting for both app users and developers. When using the WhatsApp business app, this feature will offer one, multi-platform access to contacts and chat history, two, flexibility to manage conversations from both the app and with a partner. And three, more tools at your fingertip. Everything the business app has today, plus advanced API features like interactive message templates and other partner solutions. This all provides ultimate flexibility for businesses to scale their messaging strategy. For developers like you, this is an opportunity to expand your customer base to WhatsApp business app users who have long asked to gain easier access to the API. Today, this is possible. With this simple onboarding flow, businesses can keep their phone number, contacts, and chat history while gaining access to advanced tools and better performance that help them grow. I am also excited to announce that we have just expanded the availability of this product to additional markets, and we are introducing even more features and improvements to the experience for all users, both in our existing and new markets. Firstly, we just made this available to all business app users in India, which is a huge opportunity for you to expand your customer base. Secondly, we heard feedback from our early partners and made the onboarding experience even easier, with fewer steps and a new mobile-friendly experience. Lastly, we are continuing to listen to you and are enabling features that you have been asking for. Just in the last few months, we have launched the ability to keep your Meta verified status when onboarding through this experience and made features like WhatsApp flows available on both platforms. We just know you are going to love this flexibility and seamless access. You may be saying, this sounds great. How do I get started? Let me walk you through some key steps to get this started. First, you configure embedded sign up to support a new onboarding flow. Second, you will be able to surface this onboarding flow for any businesses who are new to the API. This is also a great opportunity to go back to any leads who may have dropped off to try again with this easier flow. Third, we have great resources available once you are ready to start onboarding new clients. All of this is a light integration that should take one to two weeks, and I will walk you through all of it in just a minute. Before we get into the technical details, Let's get you familiar with the onboarding experience so you know what to expect. It should take you no more than 20 minutes to onboard. First, choose to connect your existing WhatsApp business app. Then, you will enter your phone number to start the verification and import process. You will start to share your contacts and business profile with the WhatsApp business platform. Then, you can choose whether to sync your chat history or not. It is important to note that this cannot be modified once accounts are connected. If you want to change this preference later, you will need to offboard and re-onboard. Once you continue, you will enter an access code in the app 
or scan a QR code to complete syncing. After that, onboarding is complete. It is that simple. So, let's get into the how. The following slides assume a working knowledge of Cloud API and will focus on the technical integrations required to enable API solutions for business app users. To implement the onboarding experience previously shown, you will need to update specific settings in both your app and the embedded signup flow. The app should be updated to subscribe to these new webhooks, History, SMB App State Sync, and SMB Message Echoes. The embedded signup should be updated to include the new WhatsApp Business App Onboarding feature type property. After you have successfully onboarded onto the API solution, the left screen will be seen in the WhatsApp Business App. Also, an event payload will be returned. This payload includes a WhatsApp Business Account ID and a code that can be exchanged for an access token. With this information, you can then perform graph API calls such as sending messages. Following successful onboarding, you must initiate the synchronization of contacts and chat history within a 24-hour window. This requires two separate initiation requests, one for contacts and another for chat history. Please note that each request type can only be made once. To synchronize contacts, make a graph API request to the SMB app data endpoint and set the sync type to SMB app state sync. Upon a successful request, you will receive a response containing the request ID. The actual synchronization will be sent via webhooks shown on the next slide. The webhook sent will include the following contact details. Full name, first name, and phone number. Apart from the initial sync, webhooks will also be triggered for any modifications made by the business to their WhatsApp contacts, including additions, edits, and deletions. To synchronize message history, make a graph API request to the same endpoint used for contact synchronization. Instead, set the sync type to history. Similar to contact sync requests, a successful request will return a request ID and the message history will be sent via webhooks. Please note that message history data will only be shared if the business customer has given their consent to share this information during the onboarding process. A sequence of history webhooks will be dispatched, encompassing messages exchanged within the preceding 180-day period. The delivery of these webhooks will occur in three phases, with each phase corresponding to a distinct time period. During each phase, chat history webhooks may be sent in separate chunks, depending on the total number of messages. To effectively manage these chunks, use the chunk order parameter to arrange the chunks in their sequential order, as they may not be delivered sequentially. Utilize the progress parameter to monitor the overall progress. A value of 100 indicates that the synchronization is complete for the phase. Additionally, use the from and to fields to understand the direction of the message by checking who sent the message and who received it. Message echo webhooks are sent when you use the business app or a supported companion device to message a WhatsApp user. To summarize, the key technical steps are 1. Modify embedded signup to enable the option to use a phone number registered on the business app. 2. Subscribe to new webhooks to receive contacts and chat history during synchronization, as well as echoes of the messages sent on the business app. 3. Initiate synchronization to start contact and chat history synchronization via two separate API calls. 4. Respond to new webhooks for similar integration. If you are looking for help on this topic, here is an easy way to find partners while working on this today. We know that you are going to love the flexibility and opportunity to scale with this feature. And we hope that you are as excited as we are to partner on this. Thank you.